How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use random numbers in the Rust programming language. So it's not built in, which means you need to actually use an external crate in order to gain access to this functionality. So inside your cargo.toml file, let's open it up. Now down here in the dependency section, you want to just type out rand equals 0 0.3. And that right there will say that the random crate is part of your dependency list. So now, inside the main.rs file, you just want to type out right at the beginning. You want to say uh, extern crate rand. And that line right there will say that you want to use the random uh, crate that you listed in your dependencies. Now, you also need to type out use rand and then rng. Now that is that is a trait part of this crate. Now this will be used for the thread RNG method that we'll use later on. So make sure that's imported as well as that one right there. So now inside the main function, we're going to create a random number. So we'll say this, we'll say let random number equals rand, then two columns, thread RNG. Now you're calling this thread RNG method, which makes a random number generator. From there, you want to say gen range. Now here you have two arguments, min and max. So this means if you put down here 1 and 11, this will generate a number between 1 and 10 inclusive. So 11 doesn't count, it's from 1 all the way up to 10 inclusive. And that's all. So now we can just print line. We can say random number and then pass in that right there. We can save this one and see how we go. Go in the console here. So cargo run, press enter. And we get four. All right, we can try it again. Okay, so we've got four again. Let's give it one more go. This time we get 9. So, as we can see, we're making a, a random number each time the application starts up. So now, I've also seen on the, um, on the documentation, you can also make a weighted boolean. Which means you can basically just say, you know, pick, a, pick true or false. So, like flipping a coin. So down here we can do this. We can say, flip a coin. And then say this. We can say, random boolean equals the same thing, so rand thread rng. This time we're going to call the gen weighted weighted, hold on, weighted bool method. Now this one right here will generate a random boolean, however it has one argument, and this will be the chance of that boolean being true. So for example, passing in 2 right here is saying you have a 1 in 2 chance of it being true. Passing 5 in here means you have a 1 in 5 chance of it being true. So, to make it even, we'll just say 2 for now. We'll just print out that result. We can say random boolean. And then put that right there. We can save that one. Go in the console. Run this. Now we get 5 and then true. We'll try one more time. Hopefully we get false this time. If not, then we can change it. No, okay. Let's try one more time, actually. Still true. All right. If we make this one, for example, uh, 25, it's a very rare chance we're going to get true this time. So we'll save that one and try running it one more time. This time we get false. All right. So that is how you can use the rand crate in Rust to make random numbers and also random booleans. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.